Across various African nations, religious communities are grappling with challenges that intersect political, social, and security contexts. In Sudan, ongoing conflict between the Sudanese armed forces and the rapid support forces has resulted in the bombing of Christian buildings, reflecting a broader threat to religious minorities. The conflict, initiated in April, has not only claimed thousands of lives, but also targeted Christian sites since its inception, jeopardizing the religious freedom gains made after the ousting of former strongman Omar el-Bashir in 2019. The Democratic Republic of Congo, the DRC, is witnessing widespread displacement due to armed attacks, prompting predominantly Christian religious leaders to advocate for peace. Despite the DRC's constitutional secularism, there is a rising influence of Christian leaders in political affairs. While this engagement aims to combat corruption and enhance democracy, concerns linger about potential exclusion and their introduction of religious values into policymaking processes. The persistent violence in the eastern region of the DRC continues to inflict suffering, death, and a lot of destruction. In Ghana, church leaders are increasingly involved in the national issues as well, proposing initiatives like the Christian Morality Council. This trend indicates a potential reshaping of the political landscape as Christian leaders seek to influence governance according to their values. While some view this as an effort to combat corruption and strengthen democracy, critics express concerns about democratic erosion and the potential exclusion of diverse beliefs, again, as in the DRC. The recent democratic decline in Ghana raises questions about the efficacy of institutional reforms versus religious solutions in addressing societal challenges. Also in Africa, Kenya has grappled with a unique case involving a pastor, Ezekiel Odero, arrested on suspicion of involvement with a starvation death cult. Now, despite the six-month-long legal process, no formal charges were filed against Odero, leading to the dismissal of the case. This incident sheds light on the delicate balance between religious practices and legal proceedings, emphasizing the need for transparent investigations. And finally, in Nigeria, they face recurring violence against Christians, exemplified by the recent killing of the Christian doctor Stephen Angbas in Nasawara. The attacker's motives remain unclear, but Nasarawara, the state in Nigeria, has witnessed rising attacks by Fulani herdsmen and other terrorists. The violence adds to the broader challenges encountered by Christians in Nigeria, where the country has led globally in Christians killed for their faith in 2022. Fulani militants and other groups continue to pose a severe threat, highlighting again the complex interplay of religious, political, and security dynamics in the region of Nigeria as well as Africa as a whole.